Okay, more music for you now. And did you know that more than 5 million vinyl records were sold in the UK last year? Sales are now at their highest for 30 years. Now these records are made from PVC, that's polyvinyl chloride, a material that environmental campaign groups and some music lovers would like to see less of in the world, not more. For some music lovers, this experience is one of the best they can get. As a record collector and someone who cares about the environment, I am worried about how much plastic is being used. I've come to Amsterdam to see how vinyl's made and perhaps buy a few records along the way. Amsterdam is home to one of the largest vinyl presses in the world, with millions being made here each year. The process to make one of these albums has been the same for at least 40 years. First, a master disc is made of metal and converted into a stamper. Then PVC pellets are loaded into the machine, melted and pressed into the mould. But according to Greenpeace, PVC is the most environmentally damaging of all the plastics. Do you think about the environmental impact? A couple of years ago in the news, it was that they found a, a lot of plastic in the oceans. So the first thing, of course, what happens is that you get a call like, hey, can you press records from the plastic from the ocean? It's always difficult to explain to some people that we can use whatever to make things greener while you want to keep the quality of the product uh, as it is now. So, and that's impossible. Impossible? Well, one company not far away in Eindhoven disagrees. I'm Harm Dernischer. I do it again. I'm Harm Dernischer. It's a typical Dutch name, Harm. I'm from Green Vinyl Records. Harm Turnis has ploughed everything into developing and patenting a new robotic pressing machine. We are here trying to produce and we, are, we already succeeded in making environmental friendly vinyl records. We use no PVC, we're using 90% less energy. We don't have the, the label with the paper, it's a printed label. Okay, so what's happening now? I'm moving the whole injection unit to forward to the position that we can start injecting the plastic against my negatives. And then every 20 seconds, there's a record coming out of this press. This is so cool. After the record is molded, this robot takes over the rest, removing it from the machine, cooling the record, printing the label, and pressing it for packing. It uses less energy than typical vinyl production and avoids using PVC, instead substituting it with PET, a safer form of plastic that can be recycled. One of the main things they've been trying to improve here is how the records actually sound. The quality is equal to better, and you're going to buy one and then listen it to yourself, and then you will, you will, you will hear the difference. So hot off the press, we've got this record that has just come off the machine. Crystal clear. And you've got some good artists on the books now. Tom yep. O'Dell is someone that you're pressing for. You know, do you feel that the artists are more environmentally conscious? No, not at all. So it may be a long way to go before bands and singers are pushing for this change in production methods. But what about the traditional manufacturers? I was involved in the Green Vinyl project when they started up because of course I was interested in the way that they try to make records. So if the product which comes from an injection molding press uh, is good enough, looks well enough for our customers, it might be worthwhile to look into that. Saying that, these machines are massively more expensive than the presses we, we use over here and we just bought. Back home and I'm thinking differently about my record collection after my trip to the Netherlands. And although there's a long way to go until the table is turned, there's hope that future generations will be able to relish listening to music on vinyl without worrying about its impact on our planet.